How you doing, everybody? It's Jonathan McGee. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Apparently, I never fought you. <laughs> In the last one, we cleared up the last of the things that were left for us to do at the Battle Frontier, and we caught the legendary Pokemon Latios. In this episode, here on Route 125, as we learned in the last one, it is heavy rain here. So we're gonna come here and see if we can figure out why. <clears throat> I, I didn't realize I didn't battle all the trainers here. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So what do we want to look for here now? Do you want to look for a dive spot? This wasn't here before. And okay, that's a weird. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wait. What? I thought Psyduck still knew dive. <laughs> he doesn't. I'll be right back. Okay, he knows dive now. <laughs> And here we are, underwater. Check it out. And go up from here. Marine Cave. This area is exclusive to Pokemon Emerald. For those playing Ruby and Sapphire, it will not. This area does will not appear. Go ahead and save. I don't recall if I need to save before or after I enter. Because in here... Check it out. I'll actually go ahead and save here now. <laughs> that way I have to take less steps the next if I fail this. Because I probably will fail this. Here we have Kyogre. Kyogre, all around, is a fantastic special Pokemon. Great, good special attack, good special defense, all in all, just very bulky. I'm gonna be starting off trying to paralyze it. It's going for Hydro Pump, but that's going to KO me. <laughs> good start, good start. All right. Um. Can't put us out because I don't know, so I might as well just try and weaken it. Can it fall? Double edge. Alright. Didn't take that hit too well. I did hang on, I can say you leaf blade off. Now Kyoga does no rest, so he should be able to heal himself. So, I am going to go ahead. I did buy some net balls off screen because I thought they might be helpful. So, I'm going to have to throw one of those now. Nope, didn't think that would work. Sheer Cold! It does have a one hit KO move. In case you were wondering. I don't, kind of a waste to use that at this point, but. I mean. You know. So the Citadel was not full health? Oh, but I didn't heal after going to the Odyssey Cave. <laughs> Alright. Well, again, let's just try a Nest Ball. I'm oh, sorry, Net Ball, not a Nest Ball. I could try a Nest Ball, to be fair. Double Edge? Why did you not go for Hydro Pump? Like, what? Oh god, it's gonna be this again. <laughs> I guess I can't really complain because it's giving me more opportunities to catch you. But why do you gotta be stupid? <laughs> You're a legendary Pokemon. You should not be stupid. <laughs> Two, three. Okay, I honestly thought I had it there for a second. I was like, that would be fast. Oh. Not what I'm wanting to see. Alright, uh, yes. Gobble can go next. Uh, 
Alright, again I'll just throw a net ball. One. Nope. Hydro pump. It's going to you're gonna take out gobble. Yeah, no. Nope. Alright, skipper. Can you use a fall? The rain will not go away as long as Kyogre is out unless I switch to weather. Which I don't have a way of doing. No. Well, Shia Cold finally missed. Who else might this thing hasn't gone for rest? He usually does whenever I do this. He usually goes for rest a lot. Nope, no shake there. Up oh, and as soon as I say it. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think I really have any way of damaging this thing with a skipper. I don't think Fly will do much. I could technically uh, confuse it, but I don't think that's going to help much. So... Okay, so if I was quiet there for a second, the, the power would just like blip for a second. Like when I say blip, like all the lights just dim down all of a sudden I honestly thought the recording was about to fail but no it, it didn't happen although now I'm, I'm concerned <laughs> okay I'm so I'm just really concerned now that something's gonna happen like I'm gonna lose everything I'm just keep throwing the net balls it's not working Kyogre, we go up. Went for rest again. Okay. Um, has this fight been going on long? I don't think so, but I'll throw a tiny ball. Two. I honestly thought I had it for a second. I was like about to say. Oh, and that's not working. Let's try a great or an ultra ball. I don't want to say great ball. A great ball would match you, though, to be fair. No. And sheer cold. One hit KO. Alright. And if this fails, it's just going to start being a montage. Or whatever I decided to do. I don't know. I don't plan these things out very well. <laughs> oh, I was really actually hoping it would catch because it, it matched. In fact, I'm going to throw another great ball. Can't stop me. I will do this. One. Okay. And, okay, he just keeps going for rest. Apparently, he really wants to sleep. Great ball. He's, he's thinking about the great ball. Okay, no. <laughs> he decided no. He's had enough of this. Alright. Time for the thing to start. <laughs> Risking it here a little bit. All right, you're in good health. As much as I would like to try and dumb a ball, I'd be, be, be honestly dumber of me to not try to net ball at this point. Okay, well. <laughs> Those are the best odds I could have had for trying to catch it, and it didn't work. Nest ball! Okay, I had to try it. 
okay? He just really wants to sleep. He's been doing that literally this whole time. Go, repeat ball. Yeah. <laughs> Can't really think of that would have happened. <laughs> Oh, okay, that caught it. I mean, it has been going on for a while now because I kept using rest over and over again. But this is like literally only my second attempt. I was expecting at least one more. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. All right. And that took me a lot less time than I was expecting. I'm not even at 30 minutes yet, so... <laughs> Alright. I mean, I'll take it. So, now that we got Kyoga, once we leave the marine cave... Can she me fly out here? This is considered a cave, so yeah, no, I don't think we can. Once we leave the moving cave after capturing our Kyoga, we won't. We'll lose access to, access to it permanently. So there's that. Then again, there's nothing other than Kyoga here, so don't worry about it too much. As a Danpo appears to have stopped, and then the rain should also be stopping. No. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be dead, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess because that went so quickly... I guess we're gonna head over the fortress again. And see what we got to say now. Now when I say fortress, I mean the weather institute. What do you gotta say to me this time? We took care of the rain. Now what's left for us? The track of hands all over the hole and presently a drought has been recorded in Route 115. Could that mean somewhere near Route 115? So? Kyoga was the cause of the of the rain. So we can probably guess that the cause of the drought is a certain someone. And then before we go to Route 115, whoop, even is that. Oh, it's actually... Okay, well, that works out. <laughs> I was going to go to Westboro because I wanted to get some Pokeballs. I was going to get some more Tile Balls, honestly. Probably a few other things, too. But it's actually right next to where I have to go. Alright, give me some more Tile Balls. Not Pokeballs. Give me Tile Balls. I'll take... 20... You know what? I don't even have anything else at this point, so give me 99 Pokeballs. It's okay, guys. He's doing a put me a ball, so it's a good deal. If those time balls fail, you can bet I'm using those Pokeballs. Get out of the way. Thank you. All right. I don't technically need Psyduck right now, but honestly. I don't really need anyone else either. Now, where exactly? Oh, I think I know where it is. We got to go look for something, and it should be not here. <laughs> Technical, you are not what I'm looking for. Also, terrible. I realize you're not gonna be any use in this upcoming thing. It's 
fine. It should be fine, honestly. Let's put your front then. And I should need to go up here. And do I need the mock bike for this? Do I? I need the mock bike. <laughs> You know, there have been too many times in his LP so far where I've had the wrong bike. Alright, here we are in Terra Cave. Just like in the Moon Cave, I don't believe there's any Pokemon here. Although, I don't think I actually mentioned that. But, down here. Guess who it is? It's me saving. <laughs> I like Groudon. Again, a lot like... And uh, like like it there. Kyogre, but a lot more physically oriented. Again, all in all, a huge beast. Although, he doesn't get as much of a benefit from the, the sunny weather because he's not a fire type, he's a ground type. That's a solar beam. But that sunny weather does still help him because it does weaken, uh, potentially get rid of his weakness to water type moves. Since it's apparently up, it's gonna be helpful to have. He's immediately going for rest. Doing a little, I'm doing more damage to Groudon then than I did to Kyogre just because he's not as specially bulky. I'm gonna get a train here just to get a little more health back. I mean, if it goes for another Solar Beam, it won't KO me, but I'm not worried about Solar Beam KOing me, I'm worried about something else KOing me. I got another Giga Drain. Right. Let's see, I don't have any more funny balls I can throw. Uh, Pokeball. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ground woke up. It used Fire Blast. <laughs> uh, that's powered up because of the sign about the two, so I'm probably not going to be surviving that. <laughs> nope. I'm like, uh, Citadel, I guess. <laughs> so now strong. Let's try a great ball. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's all of him. And take that. Probably going to solar beam gobble. I don't think he has a. Well, he has physical moves, but I don't think he has any moves that actually make physical contact. Because I was going to hope for static, but I don't think that will work. Actually, no, he might have slash. If I recall correctly, he might have slash. Or oh, that might just be the ruby moveset. I don't recall. <laughs> Oh, that's Fisher. That's a one-hit KO. <laughs> In that case, let's go with Skipper, because he's immune to ground-type moves and resists fire. In that case, no, then... Ground does not have Slash. 
because he also has. Oh, don't let the TMs. He should also have rest. Oh, I started to me a ball. Why not? It was on. I got it for free. Oh. Good to fish. Uh, doesn't affect Skipper. Don't know what your plan there was. Uh. Pokeball, I guess. <laughs> No, I they would have laughed at that. Why are you using, still using Fisher? Hey, come on, guys. The, you guys are legendary Pokemon. You're above. You're above using non-effective moves on Pokemon. <laughs> That's probably going to hear us too, but oh no, he survived. Uh, I really don't have anything right now, so... No, <laughs> if that actually worked, that would've been great. And Fire Blast. Gobble. Hey, do you want to go for a rest? I, mean, I don't really want you to do it. But it could help, potentially. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. And Gobble's dead. <laughs> well. Gonna be another Kyoga thing. Gonna have to reset. Last Pokeball wants to catch it. No. And Fire Blast. Alright, time to start the montage. Wow, okay, first turn rest. Good start, and I got a critical hit too, so it would have been beautiful. <sighs> Go ahead on, why you gotta be like this? I just wanna catch you, I just wanna put you into a tiny bowl. That's probably about the size of your pupil. <laughs> but, it would be comfy. Hopefully. <laughs> Probably should have gone the leaf plate again. Okay, it's fine. Uh, that took less time than Kyoga. <laughs> Groudon, the continent of Pokemon. Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and is said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. Oh my god. Uh huh. Well, I really didn't have anything else planned for this episode. So, because, well, there's one thing we can do now, I guess. There's one thing I've wanted to show off that I haven't actually done yet. And since, honestly, the other thing I wanted to do is going to take too long to do now. And I've seen the rest of the episode. We'll go and do that. Ten sunshine appears to have subsided. The cave is gone, and so is sun. The sun is gone, it's been destroyed, just like the moon in Dragon Ball. Right, so, where are we gonna go now? We're gonna head over to Mount Pyre. Okay, here at the top of Mount Pyre, 
we go back all the way here, check it out. John. The two men who took the orbs came back to return the month of own. Those men, perhaps they're not so evil after all. And seeing this guy, that should be identities of the super ancient Pokemon. Same way that we humans of Pokemon of life, our world too is alive. Super ancient Pokemon would have, ta have taught us that. I want to pass on the legend of the future generation. No legend. The new legend of Hillwind. That's no, fine. So, with that, we have now captured both Kyoga and Groudon. And Archie and uh, Maxi have returned to Red on Blue Orb. There's still something else for us to do. So, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're gonna be doing that. So, that. See you guys then.